Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Right, this is a follow-up of a previous video where I made uh, the chicken karai and I made a, I used the lamb stock to make a rice dish, the lamb pila rice. And I asked you if you wanted to get the recipe video, let me know. And you were fantastic on the comment section. You wrote a lot of comments and you pressed the like button. So I want you to do that in this video as well. So today I'm going to be making the really simple, how I like to cook it, no-nonsense, simple style of cooking. I'm just going to make lamb stock with the lamb and you can use the lamb for even curries, uh, rices, etc. So let me show you this amazing dish, the lamb. I'm going to be making the lamb stock as well as a lamb pillar rice. And accompanied with that, I'm going to make a proper Bangladeshi style, an egg buna, dim buna is called. So it's going to complement it because you've got the lamb, you've got the rice and you've got some nice little sauce with these amazing eggs. So let's make this amazing recipe at Latif's Inspired. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and press the like button. Really appreciate it with me and interact with me on the comment section. I try to read every single comment and I also try my utmost to reply to them. Now let's start cooking. So the egg buna, we're going to make... Uh, this is the ginger and garlic, we've got some uh, onions and this is the lamb. I'm using the ribs because it's nice and fatty, it's going to create that gelatinous sort of that uh, amazing collagen, it's going to be beautiful. Look at that, loads of flavour, loads of flavour. So a nice lamb soft piece of meat and all these fat is going to render out to the stock. We're going to need a pressure cooker guys, so here you go. Now this, we'll get this done within an hour. Right, my amazing Latif's inspired audience. Ramadan is around the corner and me being a Muslim, I'm going to try to do my very best to do my charity work and be a good person. And it's a month of giving. And believe it or not, when you give, it's actually better than receiving because when you make someone's day, it's amazing feeling. So this year, my charity is Muslim Aid. There's going to be a clip right after this so that you can just see what they do. Now, there's so many things happening bad things happening around the globe and there's nothing that we can do about it except we can give a bit of charity and these these organizations are legit and they're actually going out there and they're helping the people in crisis so if you're giving zakat or any sort of uh, charity that you want to give whatever you can give please give to this amazing charity Muslim Aid. I'm going to be helping them this month because that's my charity for this month and I hope through my channel I can get you guys to donate to this amazing organization and make us proud that we're actually doing something for the global community because we need to we need to make it a better world and Ramadan only 30 days if you're a Muslim there's so many things that we want to do good so let's do a bit of good in the world Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah my dear brothers and sisters in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Khudh min amwalikum sadaqatan tutahhiru biha wa tuzakkihim Allah says take from their wealth zakat so that it may purify them and increase them and this my dear brothers and sisters is the essence of zakat a timeless act of worship zakat is more than just an annual donation it's a divine injunction a means of redistributing wealth and a bridge between hearts. With every coin and note that you give, you're not only purifying your wealth, but you're instilling hope and dignity into the lives of humanity. Our ulama approved zakah policy is following the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in aiming to uplift communities in poverty, to support development and to aid the success of our ummah. Every year, your zakat has the power to rebuild lives and manifest Allah's rahmah on earth. Embrace this pillar of faith. Let your zakat be a beacon of hope. Together, we can make a difference. Donate now. So to proceed, bismillah. Turn the gas on to a high heat. And we're going to be using some ghee. This is pure butter, pure butter ghee. So two... So my chef's spoon is equivalent to about two tablespoons. So that's about four tablespoons of ghee. So now this is the amazing lamb pieces, which is the ribs. So I'm going to start putting it in. Bismillah. I love that sizzle. Beautiful. This is one kg of lamb. 
So I knew when you're making the lamb stock, you're using the bones of lamb or the offcuts and stuff, which is perfect. But when you cook it with the lamb ribs, oh my God, that flavor, that fat, that juicy and the soft tender meat, you can use the meat for curries and rices. Like I love to use it on the rice. So this is, this is my sort of uh, tip for you guys to try. So please, when you go to the butchers, the ribs aren't very expensive. It's one of the cheaper cuts. But you get that flavor, you get a bit of meat and those flavored bones, you can just nibble and it's absolutely gorgeous, I promise you. Check this out. Right, so this is about a couple of teaspoons of salt. The salt when you add the salt, it's just going to draw out the moisture from the lamb. Wonderful. Now, because it's on the fat, it's stuck to the bottom because of the heat. The cold meat and the hot pan, it just made it stick. So we're going to let this cook for a few minutes and then reduce the, uh, reduce the gas and it's going to be easy to move the lamb. So make sure you do that. Don't try to stir it now, it's just going to rip it apart, which you don't want. Right, so it's been a few minutes. I've reduced the gas to a sort of medium. And now, hopefully, the meat is not going to be stuck at the bottom. There, yep, there you go. Beautiful, oh wow. So just slightly searing the meat. Amazing. So let some of that fat render out and get a nice colour and then we're going to go to the next process. So I'm just going to stick in some Bangladeshi bay leaf. This is called Tezpata. This brings a lovely aroma and a fragrance and it's, it, it brings out a lovely little sweet flavour as well. The, uh, the lamb can be very gamey so when you add a bit of garam masala, we don't want to add too many garam masala because this is a stock, we don't want it to overpower it. Now, my famous ginger and garlic, which is, looks green because we use uh, coriander stalks, green chilies. I've got this recipe on the channel. I'll put it on the description box and you can check it out. So this is just over one tablespoon. Oh, smelling divine. Beautiful. There you go, just slightly getting the ginger and garlic to a golden colour, which is going to take a few minutes. And now, this is my mug. That should be fine. Put the lid on, put it on a high heat for a few minutes. And then we're going to put it on a low heat for about an hour. So it's going to draw out all the flavour from the meat and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the like button, appreciate it, comment. I love that interaction with you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Right, we're waiting for the pressure cooker. I've used some boiling water uh, so it creates that pressure. And then with the one, after the one whistle, then I'm going to put it on a low heat. Here is some just water. I'm boiling away for the eggs. Whack these in. That's going to be our eggs for the boona. And now the pressure cooker seems like it's going to come to its first whistle. There you go. Now I'm going to reduce the gas, guys. Check this out. What the hell? Now I'm putting it on a medium low heat. I'm going to cook it for a one hour. And while that's cooking, we're going to make the eggs. So let this boil about hard boil how you want it. I normally leave it about eight minutes and then uh, peel it and then we're going to start making the boona. So it's been about eight minutes and the eggs have boiled. So just transfer them and then we're going to put it into cold water and leave it for about 10 minutes and it's going to be easier to peel. And while this is cooling down, we're going to make the egg boona. So again, bismillah, turn it on. Three to four tablespoons of ghee or oil, whatever you want to use. <clears throat> now, I love this amazing spice. In Bangladesh, they use it in most of curries. Now, this is the punch paran. So I'm going to get about a teaspoon of punch paran. Simple as that. Some onions. Two medium sized or one cup of onions is perfectly fine. going to use some salt, about one and a half to two tablespoons, two spoons of, teaspoons of salt. 
Now I'm going to make the dim buna, the egg buna, so simple. I'm using less ingredients as possible. When I use less ingredients as, pos as possible, I, 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 I honestly think it actually tastes better. You can taste every single ingredient. In Indian cooking, there's too many ingredients and you can't taste what. Although it's beautiful because of all those spices. However, this, I'm keeping it nice and simple for you guys to enjoy. Just going to add my famous ginger and garlic. Uh, let's go for about two teaspoons. Ginger and garlic gone in. So the salt's going to draw out the moisture from the onions. And the ginger and garlic, we just want that rawness to go away. I'm just going to use a couple of bay leaf. I love that aroma of the bay leaf and that sweetness that it brings out. So here you go. One, two, that should little do. Wonderful. So let this cook for about five to eight minutes and let the onions soften up before we go to the next process. So this is just about a teaspoon of turmeric, ground turmeric powder, two teaspoons of ground coriander powder, about one teaspoon of cumin powder, and for a bit of spice, we're going to add some chili powder. So just over one teaspoon of chili powder. This is going to have a nice kick to it, but medium, more, just more than medium, but definitely less than Madras for Indian restaurant uh, measurements. If you like it really spicy, add about two teaspoons. But my recommendation, just one. Look at that. Beautiful. Right now, some green chilies. Snap the tip off. Brings out all the flavor, and you can still see the green chili. So people who like it spicy, they can have it all. Now, just a drizzle of water so the spices don't burn. Wonderful. Now we're going to boon the spices. Like I said, I don't want to make it too spicy. This, I believe, for the masses, is going to be very flavorful. Enough spice and very subtle in all its flavor. So let the onions and everything just boon her up together. While we're doing this, we're going to peel the eggs. Voila, just peel it with this bit of your thumb. Beautiful. Voila. Beautiful. Eggs are done. Now the onions have softened up wonderfully. The oil has risen to the top. Beautiful. Now the eggs are going in. Now a lot of people, they fry the egg and add it into the boona. However, I just, simple cooking I like. So just scoring it so all the flavors go in, all the spices go into the penetrate the boiled egg. Just like this, nice and simple. There you go, look at that, there you go. There you go, there you go. So all the eggs gone in now. Amazing fragrance. There you go. I've had a very busy shift and look what the time is. It's about 12.35, uh, so I'm hungry, but this is going to be very flavorful. And I thought I'd do this video for you guys, as that's how much I love you. And I appreciate the comments. It gives me inspiration um, when you interact with me and you say, oh, you can you make this lamb stock? Can you do this? So I feel very uh, humble in that sense. So this is going to be an amazing dish, simple cooking for you guys. Although it's, it's going to take a little bit of time, but the end products is going to be gorgeous. Oh, check this out, guys. Yo, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I am excited. I know it's just eggs, but that waft of fragrance is, is, is so amazing. Now, look at this. When I scored the, onion, when I scored the uh, eggs, there you go. All that flavor has gone in now. Now, this is the Buna style. Now, all I'm going to do is just put a... You can just eat that just like that. However... I'm just going to loosen it up slightly. There you go. And put the gas to a medium. And let it cook until it reduces down to the correct consi consistency. Everything is cooked now. Now I'm just waiting for this amazing dish to come together. Wonderful. Yo, I don't know why, but every time you put a bit of green, 
It just looks very appetizing. Beautiful. Turn the gas off. Now, very, 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 very happy with this. Now, I love uh, mimicking that Bangladeshi flavor and they cook it, they don't add many ingredients. So just the onions to, for that thick Buna style, no tomatoes, a bit of bay leaf for that aroma, that garam masala, and subtle spices. Mouth is watering, check this out. Beautiful. So the dim is done. I've got 15 more minutes waiting for the pressure cooker meat to start cooking. So I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Right, this has been cooking now for about an hour. I've had several whistles and I can hear another one coming and then I'm going to turn it off. Moment of truth, really excited. Let's have a look, come on. Bismillah, tawakkul Allah. Boom. Yo, look at that. There you go, that's all that lovely, amazing stock. And I'm sure the meat has tenderized. Now, let's grab a spoon. Yo, there you go. Now, the, the bone just slides off. See it there? Handata. Look at that. Get off. Oop. There you go. Now, this is going to be tender, juicy, and succulent. Oh, look at that. That fat just falling up. All that fat has just rendered out. This is going to be gorgeous. In fact, I'm going to have a taste of this. There you go. It's just sort of breaking away. And then that fat is just holding it together and that's released all that amazing flavor. Beautiful. There you go. Now let's give this a taste. Bismillah. Oh. Oh yes. Wonderful. I can just have this with a pit with a pit of bread or something. That's how beautiful it is. This is wonderful. Now soft, juicy, fatty, gelatinous flavor. Amazing. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put them into a container so it, it creates a, a stock cube. You can just eat this, look at that, the meat just breaking away. It's gorgeous. Remember when I cooked the lamb and there was a bit of fat on top? That's what's going to happen. There you go, beautiful. So, this is your fresh lamb stock cube. The reason why I call it stock cube, when you put it into those take takeaway containers, now when it cools down, stick it in the fridge and you can use it within a week, it's perfectly fine. Now come close guys. As you can see this bit here, this is gonna turn solid into fat. So what you're gonna do is just, you're gonna scrape the fat and start cooking uh, the meat which I'll try to show you a clip from the previous video. Or I'll put that video on the uh, description, sec description section and you can see it. Now I'm going to actually start cooking the uh, rice because I'm hungry. I've cooked the egg boona and now I'm going to use one container to cook for the rice. Turn the gas on. Now bismillah. Beautiful. Now let's get that fat. And now that I'm going to reduce this down until it's the fat remaining. Now while that happens, we're using uh, Bangladeshi bay leaf. I love that aroma and fragrance. Beautiful. Add three to four cardamom pods, a small little cassia bark or cinnamon stick. This is about two, and up, two inches. So some clove, just about three. A teaspoon of cumin seeds. This is the Shahi Zira. This is just basically for aroma. Ginger and garlic going in. So this, I would say, just over one tablespoon of ginger and garlic going in. Do you mug rice, Nani? It's two mugs of rice. So I'm gonna need about two teaspoons of salt. Salt to taste. Don't do more than two. It'll be too much. There we go. This is going to be very flavorful. Now this is one medium sized onion for a bit of flavor. Oh, I can smell the lamb, beautiful. So the onions are just softening up. And now this is the two mugs of rice. 
we just washed it, let it sit in cold water for a good 30 minutes and just sieved out all the water. Bismillah. So just toast this rice in all that lamb, all that lamb fat, sorry. So let this toast just a few minutes before the next process. Wonderful. I'm just going to add a few of these chilies, bird's eye chilies these are. Snap it in half. The rest of the lamb is going in. Juicy, juicy. Look. Coming off the bone. Final mix. Now we're going to use some cumin, so ground cumin. I'm using about three teaspoons of ground cumin. This brings out that lovely meaty flavor, which I want. There you go. Wonderful. Now for some water. I've used two mugfuls of rice, therefore I'm going to use one, two, just less than three. It, my ratio is about, if it's one mug of rice, then about one and just a little bit less than one and a half of water. So there you go. The heat to a high. So that's a high heat. Let the rice absorb the water. Look at this. Smells divine. Right, my amazing chefs. Now when the water has been absorbed by the rice, reduce it right down. Put a foil paper on. This captures all the steam and the rice is going to be nice, fluffy and individual. Now put it on the heat for a good 10 to 12 minutes on a very low heat and then we're going to leave it to rest for about 10 minutes before we open. Come, come close Samad. Now this has been cooking for a good 12 minutes and we've let it rest for about a good 10 minutes or so. It's very hot so be careful. By the way, check this egg curry out. Come, come close. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is going to be accompanied by the rice. Now moment of truth. Bismillah, tawakkulallah. Yo, yes. Look at that. Yo. Rice is individually cooked. Wonderful. Smelling very fragrant, very gamey. Look at that lamb. <laughs> Look at that beautiful piece of lamb. Yo, this is like foam. Look at that breaking away. Beautiful. Wonderful. Masterpiece. Smells delicious. I can taste that fat that rendered out of that lamb. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Are you ready for me to taste this? So make sure to like my videos. I really appreciate it. The more likes I get, if I get a thousand likes on this video, I'm going to be jumping up and down on screen. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Uh... Right. As I said, this smells divine and I can't wait to taste it. I'm going to taste the rice first. Come close, Samad. Fluffy, all that fat on every single individual piece of rice. Now, the moment of truth. Bismillah. Mm. Subhanallah. This, I'm really happy with this. And I'm so confident that you're going to be happy eating this. Now, Lamb, come here. Oh, mate. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Finger looking good, this is. That meat just melts in your mouth. Like that phrase. Melts in your mouth like butter. Literally, it just melts in your mouth. 
سبحان اللہ دس از سم فنگ کو بلو یو اے ناڈی ایگ رائس سوس دی ایگ دی ایگ سو سمپل انین گریوی بونر انین اسٹا اینڈ جس پوٹ دی ایگز ان دیر ناؤ دی ایگز ہیو پینیٹریٹیڈ یو نو وین آر اسکور اسکور دی ایگز کی دا لٹل کٹس اور دا اسپائس از گون ان ٹو دیر سو ویری فلیور فل اف یو انجوائے دس ریسیپی ڈونٹ فور گیٹ ٹو لائک شیئر اینڈ سبسکرائب سی یو سون فار سم مور ویڈیوز ایٹ لطیف انسپائرڈ